In the world of physics, discoveries are constantly being made that not only expand our knowledge of the universe, but also raise new questions that still need to be answered. Sometimes these events overshadow even the boldest hypotheses and challenge familiar concepts. Each new discovery opens windows into unexplored corners of the universe, and processes that once seemed incomprehensible become a little more understandable. But what are these incredible steps that change our view of fundamental phenomena? Recently, the world of physics once again witnessed an extraordinary event that raises new questions and opens up horizons for further research. Scientists made an amazing discovery that confirms theories and predictions that have long graced the pages of scientific journals. This event fundamentally changes our understanding of the processes that occurred during the earliest stages of the universe's existence and gives us a chance to view the world in a completely new light. Subscribe to the channel and like the video so you don't miss the exciting details. A recent experiment at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, marked an important step in unraveling the early history of the universe. Researchers from the ATLAS collaboration have for the first time observed the formation of top quark pairs during lead-ion collisions. This discovery confirmed theoretical predictions and opened a new avenue for studying quark-gluon plasma, the substance that existed in the first microseconds after the Big Bang. When lead nuclei collide at the LHC, Extreme conditions are created, similar to those that existed in the earliest moments of the universe's life. As a result, quark-gluon plasma is formed, a mixture of free quarks and gluons that were the building blocks of matter in the early stages of the cosmos. As Anthony Badea from the University of Chicago explains, this experiment effectively acts as a time machine, recreating processes that took place 13.8 billion years ago. Studying this plasma, allows scientists not only to understand the evolution of the universe, but also to test the foundations of quantum chromodynamics, the theory that describes the interactions of quarks. A key element in the experiment was the top quark, the heaviest elementary particle. Top quarks are unique due to their extremely short lifespan, around 10 to the power of minus 25 seconds, and a clear decay pattern making them ideal for studying the structure of quark-gluon plasma. Top quarks decay into lighter components, and by analyzing the time delays between these processes, scientists can investigate how the plasma influences their behavior. To do this, the ATLAS team analyzed millions of collisions, focusing on the so-called dilepton channel, where a quark decays into a W boson, which then transforms into a lepton and neutrino. These particles are detected by sensors, allowing researchers to study their behavior. The results of the experiment showed that the number of top quarks formed matches predictions made by modern physics. The researchers note that this is the first step toward a deeper understanding of how quark-gluon plasma affects the behavior of these particles. Why did many scientists initially doubt their existence? How did the discovery in 1974 change the scientific community's perspective on the quark model? And what fundamental properties of hadrons were explained only with the introduction of six quarks? The quark model was independently proposed by Murray Gell-Mann and George Zweig in 1964. It was a logical continuation of Gell-Mann's work on the particle classification system, the Eightfold Way, SU3 flavor symmetry, published in 1961. That same year, a similar scheme was proposed by Yuval Neyemann. Earlier, there were other models of hadron structure, such as the Sakata and Goldhaber models. But it was Gelman and Zweig who suggested that hadrons are made up of more elementary particles, quarks and antiquarks. Their model included three types of quarks, up, down and strange, each with properties like spin and electric charge. The initial reaction from the scientific community was skeptical, 
and there was much debate about their physical reality. In 1964, Sheldon Glashow and James Bjorken predicted the existence of a fourth quark, charm, which allowed for a more precise description of weak interactions and explained the mass of certain mesons. In 1968, experiments at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, SLAC, showed that protons have an internal structure, pointing to the existence of point-like components, later identified as quarks. The strange quark proved to be a necessary element for explaining the properties of kaons and pions, discovered in 1947. In 1970, Glasho, Ioannis Iliopoulos, and Luciano Maiani proposed the gym mechanism, explaining the absence of neutral currents and predicting the existence of the charm quark. In 1973, Makoto Kobayashi and Toshihide Maskawa hypothesized the existence of a sixth quark to explain CP symmetry violation. The historic discovery of the charm quarks in 1974, in mesons containing a quark and an antiquark, firmly established the quark model. In 1977, the bottom quark was discovered, and in 1995, the top quark was discovered, thus confirming the completeness of the system. Despite the counterintuitive idea of quark confinement, its correctness has been confirmed by numerous experiments. The successful classification of hadrons, the explanation of their magnetic moments and spins, and observations of high-energy processes, such as quark annihilation and the Drell-Yan effect. By 1976, the quark model was accepted by the scientific community as the most reliable foundation for explaining the structure of hadrons. What discoveries in the world of strong interactions may the new era of experiments at the LHC bring? At present, scientists lack the data for a detailed analysis of more subtle effects, but this will change drastically in the coming years. With the upgrade of the Large Hadron Collider, which will operate at higher energies, it will be possible to gather much more statistical data. This will pave the way for crucial research, such as the difference in gluon properties in the core and in free protons, the evolution of quark gluon plasma over time, and the discovery of new phenomena in the field of strong interactions. Subscribe to our channel and stay updated on the most exciting scientific discoveries. In the coming years, the world of particle physics will open up unprecedented horizons. Don't miss the chance to be the first to learn what secrets lie in the tiniest components of the universe.